Hi there, I am going to test out this website called I Write Like to see how it uh, it works. This is a site you're supposed to be able to put in your uh, writing sample and then you hit analyze and it tells you who you write like and I apologize for the weird angle here but I think in order to get these words to show up on <clears throat> YouTube's tiny little screen I'm gonna have to zoom in here so Let's start out with something something simple. I'm just going to write the words herf and derf over and over again. And we'll see how that goes. I tell you to put in a you know paragraph to give them enough to work with. So let's see how that goes. David Foster Wallace. All right, fair enough. Let's try a related bit of diction. I will try the words Google and gobble. Fans of cult cinema may recognize this phrase. And if you don't, I'm not going to explain it to you. Google, gobble, Google, gobble. We accept one of us. Edgar Allan Poe. Okay. <clears throat> now. I'm nothing about a scientist, so just for the sake of reproducibility, let's try herf derf again. Now that the cache is cleared, and see if we get Edgar Allan Poe again, or David Foster Wallace, rather. All right. Okay, so far so good. All right, let's try something a little more substantive. My name is Dorothy Parker. My name is Dorothy Parker. No, seriously, I'm Dorothy. I'm not usually type this poorly, but the camera's in my way. I might like Dorothy Parker because I am, in fact, Dorothy Parker. L. Frank Baum. Dorothy. Dorothy. If you write about people named Dorothy, you are L. Frank Baum. Absolutely brilliant. All right, let's try something simple like uh, turds. Exclamation point. Cory Doctorow. Sounds good to me. What if we replace the U's with R's? Cory Doctorow again. All right, fair enough. All right, how about something along the lines of, I am an insufferable teenage girl living in the Pacific Northwest. I dislike my miserable life. And I am in love with a vampire. As a teenage girl, my life's meaning depends solely on being accepted by good-looking boys, and therefore I will surely despair forever if my dark love does not accept me. Going for a little uh, George Orwell action here. Let's see who comes up. Vladimir Nabokov. I'm guessing teenage girl is what set that off. So how about if... We replace this with what Twilight is really about. Aged woman. Hmm. My theory proved incorrect. All well, apologies. How about I am a charming British wastrel and I am a wizard. I'm an Epikoff. All right. All right, I have some other uh, writing samples here. This is the beginning of the book of Genesis from the Bible Gateway website. I'm not sure precise. It's the New International Translation. So let's see how that goes. Apparently the computer didn't like copying that. Let's see. Oh, I heard her again. That's okay. Technical difficulties. All right. 
Ursula K. Le Guin wrote the Bible. I did not know that. What if we do John 1, which is the sort of outlier of the Gospels, if you know anything about the Bible. John 1. Ursula Le Guin also wrote the New Testament. Very good. How about the Declaration of Independence? This was written by Thomas Jefferson. If you don't know that, I don't know what to do for you. Okay, there it is. James Fenimore Cooper. I can buy that. All right. And finally, just to add some international flavor here, let's try Me Encanta La Tocina. La Tocina es deliciosa. La como cada día con mis huevos y mi café. James Joyce. I'm guessing this thing interprets anything other than English as gibberish and therefore assigns it to James Joyce. All right, well, I think that shows you how well this thing works, so feel free to type in your own writing samples and see who you might like according to this grotesquely simplistic and utterly flawed computer algorithm. Have fun.